If you want to create your own transitions inside DaVinci Resolve and use it in your future projects or send it to a friend, this is the video for you. In this one, I'll show you how you can do both of these methods. First, you want to go to effects library in the video transitions and pick a transition which is similar to the ones that you want to create. In my case, I'm going to make an example with cross dissolve. So I'm placing it in between my clips as a transition. And the next step is that I can highlight it and then I can right click it. After right clicking, you can select convert infusion cross dissolve. That way you're going to be allowed to make further changes on this transition. Next step is to right click on that and select open infusion page. Then this is the window that you should be seeing. A media in and two with media out and in between there should be a group of nodes. In my case, I'm having just the dissolve. So now I'm actually allowed to make some changes on the dissolve node or add another node and make further customization on that transition. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna add the ellipse. So I have just clicked on the ellipse icon, I highlighted it and I'm going in the spectre. I'm just gonna make random changes on that ellipse node just because I don't wanna leave it on the default settings. I'm just softening the edges and I'm increasing the size of that shape. Also, I'm gonna go in the beginning of my timeline. I'm gonna take down the size of that ellipse and make it go wider until the end of that clip by using a second keyframe. And as the clip is going, not only that is dissolving, but it's dissolving inside the ellipse. And what I just did is not so important. I'm just showing that I'm making changes on that transition. And assuming that you have also finished making adjustments on your transition, it doesn't matter what kind of changes have you made it. Now it's time to save it. So you can right click on the transition and then select create transition preset. After that, you'll be asked to name that transition. I'm typing random dissolve and then selecting OK. And now if you want to use this transition, you need to go to your FX library, video transitions, and you want to go down until you see the user panel. And now in here, you can see that I'm having this random dissolve that I have just added. Now I'm deleting the one that I'm already having and I'm adding it again from the video transition panel. So you can see that it's the same transition that we just have customized it. But this time we're having as a preset on our video transitions on which we can use it in our future projects. And as I said, you can find this in the video transition in the user panel. So now let me show you another method of which you can use to save your preset. This time you can actually send it to somebody. All you have to do is open the transition infusion page. Then you want to highlight this cross dissolve. In your case, it could be something else. So just right click on your group nodes and then select settings. Followed by that, you can select save as. In here, you want to name that file. So in the beginning, I'm typing random dissolve and I'm clicking on save. And now I'm having a file on which I can send to somebody or I can upload it online. Now in order for somebody else to install these transitions, they can copy the dot setting file that you have just created to one of the locations that I have put it in my description based on are they using Linux, Mac or Windows and after placing that dot setting file in the correct folder it should appear in their video transitions. I hope it was helpful, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.